Yo, what's good, everybody, man? We are back with another day of Doula, another day being charged up, and today we are giving Jordan Poole Hall of Fame potential in 2K24. So we have the infamous wheel that has all the attributes that we upgrade every season. We're gonna spin this wheel, and uh, whatever it lands on is what we give Jordan Poole for that season, all the way up until he reaches maxed out stats for everything. So here he is right now, starting off at an 82 overall with the Washington Wizards. At age 24, he has about 10 seasons left in his career, and uh, it's time to, you know, become a GOAT. So before before we get into it, make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below who should I give Hall of Fame potential to next. You guys want Jordan Poole. You guys said some crazy players like um, uh, Jonathan Kaminga. I don't think many people care for that one. We have, um, who else? Austin Reeves I could do. Maybe Ben Simmons. Resimulate his career with Hall of Fame potential. That'd be a good one. Also, if you guys don't know, I post Madden content on my other channel, Doula TD. We're going to have more simulations over there. I'm streaming on Twitch soon. Hey, content out the butt this year. Let's finish out strong. So here's the goal for the video. We have a few goals we got to reach. One of them being for Jordan Poole to win an MVP. Now that he's with the Wizards, people are saying it's like when Harden left the Thunder. I don't know if it's equivalent, but Poole already won a ring. So if you go to his career accolades, so far, all he has is one NBA championship. By the end of this video, I wanted to say three, and I want to say two MVPs. So the challenge is two MVPs and two rings in the rest of the 10 years of the simulation. So let's go ahead and spin this wheel first to see what is the first thing we'll be maxing out for Jordan Poole. And it looks like it's gonna be Hall of Fame inside scoring badges. And that takes us from an 82 to an 86 overall. So his inside uh, scoring is gonna be even better. Now he's the best player on the Wizards. Where's that one guy that hates him? This guy, Denny of Adija, Adiva J, DJ, whatever his name is. Bro does not like Jordan Poole. I'm sure if y'all are on Twitter, man, you probably seen the clip of him just, you know, pissed at Jordan Poole for being a ball hog. And uh, he just signed a deal for like $50 million, like four years, 50 million. So he can't complain. Where's he from? Israel. Oh, that's, that's a, it's a, all right, okay, all right. Uh, so let's go ahead and simulate this first year with Jordan Poole in Washington. I think here's what's going to happen in real life. Either Poole's going to go crazy or he's going to be ass. It's one or the other. There's no in between. There's no mid. He's either going to be amazing or horrible. Wizards either going to suck or be a good team. Like Jordan Poole is going to be taking most of the shots, ball hogging. It's just a matter of the Wizards are willing to run an offense through him like the Rockets did with James Harden. I don't think it'll happen, but uh, hey, I'm a Jordan Poole fan. He's out of Michigan. That's my guy. That's my, that's my guy. So I want to see him cook up. If you're a Wizards fan, bro, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, hold my breath. It's not going to be too good, I don't think. All right, well, 32 wins and 49 L's might actually be on the money, or, or 50 L's. That might actually be their true record. Uh, we can come back at the end of the season and, and check. Joel Embiid wins MVP. He's not going back-to-back -back MVP. There's no way. Uh, Victor Wanyama Rookie of the Year, this guy might win MVP if he stays healthy, but the way he plays is reckless. Uh, Sixth Man of the Year, Chris Paul, Giannis Defensive, and Paul Reed, my boy. Okay, okay, okay. But, so, um, is he All-NBA first team? Jordan Poole. He's not first team or second team, or third team. That's fine. That's fine. No worries. Wizards, we are not in the play-in either. Alright, well... After one year, Poole ends up at an 87 overall. In this season, he didn't become an all-star. So, um, what did he do? He averaged 22 in two and three. He should pass more. He's not gonna pass. How do you pass less when you have more control? Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, okay. How did Kuzma do? 19-7. He got more assists than Poole. Tyce Jones, the starting point guard with 12 and three. This team must be like the worst passing team in the league. Hold on. I bet you if we go to team stats, they're going to have the least amount of passes per game. Or least amount of assists per game, I should say. And yeah, they're up there one of the worst. Only 22 assists per game, while the top teams have about 30. All right, well, not a horrible first year by himself. I'm hoping that, you know, he can progress even more. Maybe get some help. But this season, 76ers and Warriors. This tends to be uh, the outcome a lot in simulations this year of Curry winning a ring. We'll see about that. LeBron hasn't retired, but Westbrook did because he dislocated his right uh, padilla and he was out for the season. So draft lottery. Let's see if we get a top pick. Wizards get the seventh overall pick. So out of curiosity, who are we drafting? We got Ron Howland going first and seventh is Isaac Amundson. That's not a, I mean, he's from Spain. If, if y'all from Spain, comment down below, man. I got a huge love for, for my Hispaniards, Hispanics, Spaniards. Um, 
I like Spain. But we would have been better off taking this guy, Matt Buzilis. I know he's actually a good player in high school right now. But year number two of spinning this wheel, I'm hoping we get 99 shooting. That's the best one to get. And wow, I spoke into existence. Perfect. So he'll go from an 83 three-point shot to a 99. That's a huge upgrade considering his tendencies to shoot the ball a lot. So he's now an 88 overall. We got Malik Monk on the team as well. Um, Zach Collins, whole lot of mid. But hopefully we can make the playoffs this season in year two all right year two our record is better 38 wins jaws mvp but we should be winning most improved i'd be surprised if we don't okay scoop gets it that's fine whatever scoop henderson most improved clutch player goes to ad that's interesting all right it's pool all nba player year two no still not an all nba player yeah it is what it is but on the bright side we are in the play-in as a ninth seed so just barely making it and Jordan Poole this season only averaged 20 and 4. Maybe I should change his tendencies. The thing is, I feel like his tendencies are already pretty uh, shot heavy to shoot. Like his tendency to shoot is pretty high already. So that's interesting. Kuzma averaged 18. Monk with 17. Kispert with 10. Our rookie with 12, 8, and 2. Shout out to Spain, bro. This guy's putting up numbers for us off rip. Okay. We're up against the Pistons here in the play-in. We're up against Cade Cunningham, Asar Thompson, Jaden Ivey, Jalen Duran. Pistons are going to beat them, bro. Yeah, there's no, there's not even a contest. Not even a contest. Yeah. Winning by almost 20 points. Pool dropped 28, but Cade had 31, and they got more help. It is what it is. It's fine. The first two years are rough. You got to keep in mind, this is a bad team. The Wizards are a bad team, so I can't have high expectations just yet. And LeBron is on the Spurs. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I got to do this video, bro. What if LeBron and Wembenyama play together? Because in their first year together, or second, yeah, first year together, they're in the finals. Up against his old team, Cleveland. Oh, bittersweet ending of a career to get swept by the Cavs. <laughs> Darius Garland going to send him to retirement. And yeah, he's, he's out of here. Now, I think the next most important thing we can upgrade for him is defense. If he can have 99 defense, that would turn him into a beast. But he'll have Hall of Fame defending badges instead. Damn, we're doing worse. I think I know what I got to do. I got to make a trade, bro. I got to make a trade for Jordan Poole. 30 wins and 52 L's is crazy, man. Bronny wins rookie of the year. Um, But yeah, Jalen Johnson most improved. Damn. Jordan Poole, is he all NBA yet? No, no. So after three years, he still hasn't been all NBA. Wizards are not even in the play in. It's a bad look. Everyone's mad, bro. Kuzma's triggered. Monk is heated. Brooke Lopez is annoyed. <laughs> but Poole's fine. He's doing fine. He's because he's getting buckets. He's averaging 21 a game. Damn, that's bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. 21 a game is okay. Did he make an all star team? We got to see. No, but he is first team all defense because we, you know, upgraded its Hall of Fame defending badges. So that's a good thing. The truth is, though, we got to make a trade for the Wizards. Either trade him or trade someone to the team. Now, this year, the Rockets are the first seed. Um, Spurs missed the playoffs. And Elprin Sungun ends up winning the finals with Jalen Green being the finals MVP. No chance that happens. No shot whatsoever. I don't see it happening. Nope. All right, so Pools a 93 overall, but we have, here's the issue. We have too many first option scores on this team, like Sadiq Bey, Kyle Kuzma. We need, okay, Marcus Smart's good. We need some more solid big guys. I think we should get rid of Kuzma. Let me just see what we can get on the market for any of these guys. Because if this is the case, he's on his way. Oh, you know what? Here's what we got to do first. We got to spin this wheel one more time. Let's just see what we can get here. Oh, that's actually a good one. Hall of Fame outside scoring badges to match his max shooting. That works. Oh, wow. That helped a lot. Now he's up to a 97 overall. So he's almost maxed out. But yeah, so we got to get some get some help for him. And I don't want this to be like a James Harden type of career for him where he ends up having like, you know, no real success in the playoffs. I'd rather have him team up with another star player and actually, you know, win a playoff series once. So for Sadiq Bey, Sadiq Bey, keep in mind, he averaged about 15 points a season. Not bad. Oh, Jamal Murray, we don't need him. We already have, that's basically Jordan Poole. Uh, Lonzo Ball, no. We don't need guards. We need big guys, all right? We don't need scorers either. We just need big guys. Uh, I'm not seeing anything I like. Jalen Duran could be the move here because he's only 22. But no, his stats aren't that good. Yeah, nah, no, no. Okay, never mind. 
what about what about Kuzma? Kuzma has basically the same offers. Yeah, nothing. Ah, Demata Sabonis and Trey Lyles. Let me think. Let me think. Michael Porter Jr. No, he's another ball hog. I don't know. I don't see anything I like at all. What about a package? Now we're talking. With Kuzma and Sadiq Bay, we could get Bain and Sakin. We could get Lloyd Markkinen, Sabonis again. Ah, uh, nothing. Ah, uh, Cat's thirty. Cat, Cat might be the move here. No, we're giving up too much though. We're giving up too much. We need depth. You know what? Here's what I'll do. I'm gonna sim to December and just see how we do with Pool being a 97 overall, and just see if we can win. So we're 10 and 10. That's not. That's not convincing enough for me to keep this 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 team together i'm gonna be honest pool's doing his thing he's averaging 30 and 3 he could win mvp this season kuzma averaging 17 and bay averaging 18 um okay so what's going wrong it's just our center we don't have a good center so no matter what now whatever trade we make has to be for a center i'm not gonna lie to you man i think it's time we get rid of kyle kuzma i think kyle kuzma he's doing well this season so his stock is is, is somewhat up and we could get Sabonis for him. Sabonis, he's a good center. He's, I mean, he could be good for us. What else is there available on the market? Because like I said, center. Duran, he's actually having a good season in Minnesota. 14 and 14 is pretty good in the first 20 games. Miles Turner in the most improved player. Uh, you know, man, I'm gonna go with Jalen Duran. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so high on Jalen Duran. I'm going to choose him for this team, and here's the rotation now. Jordan Poole, Marcus Smart, Bilal, we got Sadiq Bey, and Jalen Duran. This, this is a team of potential, okay? This is a team, hey, we could manage a playoff spot with this team. Here we go. Well, what do you know, man? I, I just have a knack for this, bro. I just have a knack for uh, building super teams, you know, 50, 54 and 28. And our boy, Nikola stole the MVP from Jordan. That's tough. Ah, that's tough. Nikola. What's up with these Nicolas, man? Nicola Topic. What? what type of last name is Topic? All right, all right, all right. That's fair enough, man. Jordan Poole, All-NBA second team. There we go. I mean, at bare minimum, we should be. And we're in the playoffs as a second seed. So, Jordan Poole this season, he averaged 30. You didn't give him an MVP? Really, 2K? Okay. 34 and 4, and you can't give him an MVP. It, it really is the evil world we live in. What, uh, what type of awards? We got an all-star, our first all-star. Okay, this is our very good season for us. How did Jalen Duran do? 13 and 12, he continues to put up numbers for us. Bay with 18, Amon Sun with 15, Bilal with 10. We're, this, is, this is a good team. We're up against the Magic here. They're a seven seed. We're gonna end up, hold on, three, two. We end up beating them in six. Now we're up against the Charlotte Hornets, which is a good matchup for sure. They got LaMelo Ball, Brandon Miller's up to an 87, Mark Williams, but that's Jalen Dern's light work. And then, yeah, we, we have we have enough. I feel like we should sweep them. Okay, 3-1 and 4-1. We're in the conference finals against the first seed Pacers. Pacers have Tyrese Halliburton, Ron Holland, Bam Bam Adebayo. They have a deep roster. Yeah, they have a solid, a solid team, but... I think we could take them. They're up 2-0. Oh, wait a minute. 2-1. 3-1. Come on. 3-2. Game 7. They beat us in 6. Okay. All right. What happened here? In Game 5, we won by 2 points because Poole had 26. Dern had 23. Then we lost by 11 because, bam, he played very solid. And Poole had 37. Okay. Poole, in the playoffs, he did his thing. So not a bad season. A big improvement, actually, going from missing the playoffs to a second seed and Nicola wins one more ring I'm not even mad at it bro I feel like next season is gonna be our best year yeah. yet in 2028 yeah. so our upgrade this time around is going to be Hall of Fame playmaking badges and that officially makes him a 99 overall player but look at the team look who we somehow ad added during free agency we got DeAndre Ayton and Brandon Ingram so I think they saw that this team's about to win a ring and they hopped on so we got Sadiq Bey, Duran, Ayton, Ingram this is a championship roster. Look at the rotation. We got Poole at point guard. We got Aiton at sixth man. Ingram at small forward. Yeah. Yeah. We uh we should be ranked or predicted to go first. No, they have us as hold on. They have they have us as the 17th best team. Are they bugging? Are you crazy, 2K? Even Eric, my boy Eric, he turned retarded. Where what does he have us ranked at? Also 17th. Okay, bet. 
bet. Let's prove them wrong. Next season, 55-26. Can we win MVP? Moment of truth. And no, what? Luka Doncic, man, ah, 38 and nine. That that is MVP valid numbers. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna give it to him. All right, Kyrie Irving, Sixth Man of the Year. Jordan Poole, Defensive Player of the Year. That one's more surprising than any of them. <laughs> wow, 27, four, eight assists. So he's being more of a playmaker. And uh, Shea Gilgis is Clutch Player of the Year. All right, well, Jordan Poole not being All NBA First Team is nuts. He's All NBA Second Team. All right, well, we are the third seed. What's the team looking like, man? The Knicks finish off with 67 wins. Who the Knicks have? I know they had Bronny, but there's no way a Bronny-led team is doing that well. Josh, Giddy, and Bronny. Okay, they got chemistry. They got chemistry and depth. So we're up against the Atlanta Hawks. This should be an easy sweep, right? Yeah, 4-0. Pacers is going to be a tough challenge here. They knocked us off before. Can they do it again? 2-1. Oh my god, 3-1, yeah, 3-2, they beat us in six again, damn, yeah, Wizards just, uh, oh, I know what happened, I know exactly what happened, Jordan Poole got right knee tendinitis and he couldn't play, and that's what cost us, alright, well, uh, injuries held us back this season, and... Nikola Jokic wins his third ring. Not looking too good right now, man. Durant and Curry retire. Actually, a lot of superstar players retire. Durant, Curry, DeRozan, Harden, Butler, Lillard, geez. Now, even though we're a 99 overall player, we haven't, you know, fully maxed out everything that we can. We need our, our post defense to be good. But we have Hall of Fame uh, badges for three categories, so that should help. Well, look, man, 65 and 16. We have for sure the best record in the league. If we don't win MVP, thumbs up. If we don't win it, but, wow, wow, we are not going to win MVP, dog. That's crazy. Wemmin Yama wins it. 23 and 12. What the heck type of name is this? Dyke? We got a Dyke winning rookie of the year. Bro, so we couldn't even win Defensive Player of the Year or even Clutch Player of the Year, man. That's tough. Jordan Poole is not even all NBA first team or second. He's third, which leads me to believe, which leads me to believe he must have gotten injured. We're the first seed. He averaged 21. Whoa, what? Yo, that's really bad. Why did he average 21? Hold on, hold on, hold on. 21 is kind of crazy. Ingram put up 17. This guy put up 15. We got a John Murray on the team. That's why. Yeah, he got 13 for us. Sadiq got 14. Duran with 9. We traded DeAndre Ayton. Okay, that makes sense. John Murray taking a lot of uh, plays or, you know, possessions from him. But let's just see. He played all 82 games. So, yeah, it's just legit. He didn't shoot as much. But he shot very efficiently. It's fine. Hey, let's just focus on winning a ring. We have yet to make the finals, and this is our best chance to do it right here. The Bulls should be light work. Um, yup. Seven seed Hawks, I swear to God, they shouldn't beat us. And we're up against Jokic. This guy's been having a great career in this video. He's won three chips. You know, he, he got back-to-back -back rings. Can we take him? Game one, we take it. How, how'd it happen? We won by 15. Sadiq Bay dropped 27. Game two, we take that one as well. Pool with 29. Game three, we take that as well. Uh, Pool had 36, 8, and 11. And now let's Simcast. Can we sweep Jokic? I don't know if y'all peeped real quick. Let me pause real quick. I think the Nuggets have a uh, Devin Booker. Yeah, they got Devin Booker and Cum Bucket. So they have a good team. They have a solid team. But just ours is better. But it looks like they're going to end up taking this game at home, beating us by 20. Uh, Jokic had a triple double. All right, can we end up winning it at home? When was the last time the Wizards won a ring? Have they ever won a ring in NBA history? I don't know, but looks like we're gonna win this game. Let's jump in and watch. Jordan Poole guarding up on Isaiah Cauliflower. I think he's gonna be a good player out this uh, 2024 draft. Good closeout defense and he still drains it. Keep in mind that Poole is not only the best offensive player in the league, but he's the best two-way player because he's maxed out uh, defensive badges. Sadiq Bey, handoff play, pull, step back, close shot, bucket. We got Devin Booker. Who's guarding him? I don't even know who's guarding Devin Booker, but he's going to kick out to Jokic in the corner. Catch and shoot. It's a miss, though. I mean, we have Hall of Fame posterizers, so it would be dope to see uh, Jordan Poole catch a body. I don't know if he, if he will. Nice fading three. Bang. Good shot, boy. Devin Booker pulling up for the midi. That's in and out. All right, let's go. Fast break time. I just want to see one dunk by Jordan Poole. We got this dude, Hawkins, actually taking to the basket. All right, bro. Hey, we're up by 30 points at this point, and we won it. So, 33-point victory. This dude, uh, Jordan Hawkins, 
he might be uh, the nephew or probably the grandson of Stephen Hawkins. If you know Stephen Hawkins, rest in peace to him, great guy. But yeah, he uh, he's a rookie, or his second year. And bro, dropped 26 in a closeout game. Poole had 25. The question is, who wins finals MVP? Will it be him or Ingram, or would it be someone else? Is Jordan Poole. He averaged 27, six and seven. So ring number one out the way. We gotta win one more. It took a lot to win this first one though. I mean, how old is he? He's 29, but it took it took a few years and a really good team to, to, to win this ring. John T. Murray, he was kind of quiet, but yeah, it took a lot. The question is, can we go back to back and can we win MVPs? Let's spin this wheel again. We are not finished yet with when it comes to you know spinning the wheel. And next up is 99 physicals. That should be helpful, you know, having maxed out speed. Just to give you an idea of how much of a difference it's gonna make, this is his actual speed right now, 73. So I didn't realize he was that slow. I thought he was faster. Bro, I feel like if I was a player, my speed would be like in the 80s. I think I have like um, deceiving speed, like, like sneaky athleticism. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. But now him with maxed out speed, he'll get to the basket quicker, more shots, more, uh, you know, paint points, so. Yeah, still 9-9 overall, but let's see how much of an impact it has. The team has stayed the same. We just lost Jalen Duran, so our center is pretty bad. De'Aaron Sharp. Our best record yet, 65 wins. And God damn! Give me the MVP, bro. What do they, they have against Jordan Poole? What the heck, man? Luka Doncic with 19-6-8. 19-6-8. Keep that in mind. 19-6-8. and eight. 19, He's not even all NBA. What? Bro, he must have been injured. 19, 6, and 8. Oh, 18, 4, and 4. All right, you know what? You know what the issue is? Here's the issue. We have too many scores on this team. Get this guy out of here. Left hand fracture. I'm about to break his other hand so we can't play next season because, yeah, he's taking away buckets from this guy to win an MVP. All right? Let me get my second ring real quick with Jordan Poole and then kick him off the team because we got to win an MVP or else the challenge is not complete. All right? Round two. Wow. We blew a 2-0 lead to the Celtics. What's going on, man? Jalen Brown, he's still in Boston, and he's with Brandon Miller, or Babacar Miller, and Chris Stops. That's crazy, bro. This has been a hell of a video so far. Nuggets win it. Isaiah Cauliflower once again winning it. Okay, so who's on? Is Nikola still on the team? <laughs> Nikola's been the GOAT of this, of this era. Four rings. This is crazy. I know what the issue is, though. The issue is, once we lost DeAndre Ayton and Jalen Duran, we became, a, a, you know, back to where we were. We need a center. I noticed that teams need a good center to win rings. But it looks like Jordan Poole has left the Wizards. Wait a minute, what team has he gone to now? He went to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Interesting. So the Timberwolves, him, Jaron Jackson Jr., Amen Thompson, and Everett Griffin. You know what? We'll give this a chance. I think he can win MVP on this team. All right, well, uh, our first year in Minnesota. First year in Minnesota. Yo, the weather in Minnesota is crazy, by the way. Isaiah Collier won MVP, man. Ah, this is tough. I don't think we're gonna complete this challenge, chat. We still aren't all NBA is the wildest part. Fifth seed in the West, Jordan Poole averaged 18, three and four. Ha, ah, okay, Tyrese Proctor, we got him, we got Amen with 12. Where did, uh, yo, where did, uh, didn't we have a, no, I could have swore we had someone on the team earlier. Didn't we have a, 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 a good player on the team? We had Jaron Jackson Jr. Unless he's injured. Nah, we really got rid of JJJ? What? Yeah, Jaron Jackson Jr. went to the Kings. Don't the Kings have Luka of Doncic? Don't they have him? I'm pretty sure they have. Whoa! They got Tatum, Luka, and Jaron Jackson Jr. What the hell is this? What is this? All in their prime, too. Yeah, man. And we're up against them in the first round? Yeah, all right. Give me a break, 2K. That's tough. That is, sorry, poor Jordan Poole, man. It's a wrap for your career. I'm not gonna lie. It's over. At least we got that one ring, but that's about it. <laughs> We are not gonna get anywhere further than that. Thunder ended up winning the whole thing. Shea Gilgis wins finals MVP. Damn, how old is bro? He's 32. We still have like five more years. It's just, it's really unfortunate, the situations he's been in. We did it. We did it. I didn't see it coming, but we did it, man. In 2032, 10 years later, or nine years later, we win our first MVP. 21, seven and four, we pull it off, man. Shooting very efficiently. I was gonna say, Victor wins defensive player of the year with 0.8 steals and 1.8 blocks. 0.8 steals and one point. Okay, I guess it's better than Jordan's defensive stats. But hey, we did it, man. Thank God. I was going to say, no way we go without one MVP. Okay, so that means so far, we run two. We have, well, we have two rings. So we won one so far. And an MVP. 
Okay, we are third in the West. This team is, is it's whatever, I guess. This Griffin guy, there's the cops outside or ambulance, you know, same difference. You know, I wonder what's going on. I hope everyone's okay. This doesn't sound good. Bro, sometimes when I'm, when I hear like the ambulance, I used to have a fear like they're going to my house, like when I'm at home. They're like, oh, when, like when, they, when they go your direction, like where you, to get home and you see them going that path, I'm like, yo, like, is, it, is my house on fire? Like, you don't know. That's why I don't like uh, the ambulance sometimes. But with that being said, man, we have a, a you know, a playoff series to win and we beat Wembenyama in round one. We're up against Dallas Mavericks in round two. Oh yeah, let's go. 4-1, baby. We're up against the Houston Rockets now. We're cooking. They got T. John Saloon. That's a bot name. They got Elprin Sungun. Uh, Gar Dial, another bot name. Cam Whitmore's a real person. Quentin Grimes. Okay, okay. No way this team gives us any any challenge. Uh, should be an easy one. We're down 3-1. And 3-2. Come on, game seven. No! Damn! Damn, Jordan Poole's still the MVP of that series, but... I guess, uh, I mean, why is it such a low scoring game? 101 to 72. How does Amen only have four points? That's tough. All right, Rockets Pacers and Rockets win the whole thing. Guardiola, the bot, ends up winning finals MVP. Okay, well look, we still have a few more years to win one more MVP and one more chip. We, can we get it done? Let's find out. I don't know how we're pulling this off, man, but 68 wins. Yes, Jordan Poole back-to-back -back MVPs. Okay, we're cooking up. We're cooking up, bro's in his prime, 33 years old, and now he's he's cooking up, bro. Love to see it. Okay, and he's also all defensive first team. Did he win defensive player of the year? No, he didn't. It's fine, it's fine. Maybe he did, actually, because it doesn't show. Yeah, it shows first team All-NBA and All-Star. It doesn't show all, every award. That's fine, though. I think we, we did end up winning it. But we're the first seed in the West. Can we have the perfect season right here and win a ring and a finals MVP? We're up against the Nuggets. Nuggets, yes, okay. All right, we can complete the challenge right here. The job can be finished right here if we beat this Jalen Brown-led Celtics team. They're not good enough. No, they're not. Game one, we take it. Yes, sir. Two, oh, one, one. Come on. Two, one, come on. Three, one. Hop in the SimCast. It's a back and forth game. We're playing at home. Oh, no, we're down. I, I'm going to jump in with the minute and a half left. You never know. Now, the question is, has Minnesota ever won a ring before in NBA history? I don't know. I don't think so. But let's see what Jalen Brown can do. Six point lead. Can they hold it? Spin move going to his left and surprise, surprise, he picks up his dribble. That's not Brandon Ingram. That must be his cousin or something. He misses the open shot and bam, out of bios on the team. Okay, that makes sense. We have this Edwards dude who's a star. He lost the ball to Jalen Brown. Okay, he's going left. We have a chance. No, damn. That was a very costly turnover. Can Jordan Poole somehow hit some threes or just, there we go, pull up, nice. We gotta play full court trap, full court defense here. And, okay, good. Force him to a bad shot, we didn't have to foul. Eight points in 40 seconds, if we do not score here, we can call it wraps. Poole, just pull up, open three, that's a, oh, he missed it in and out, I thought that was going in. All right, well, we lost that game. And uh, yeah, Maliki Branham had 19, and Jordan Poole had a double-double. Wasn't enough though. And now it's 3-2. If they come back down 3-1, that would be nuts. Okay, we have another close game here. Very close game. Six point game with a minute left. Let's see. And the Celtics have the ball. So if they score here, we have a ball game. Oh, we almost lost it. All right, Baxter, what you got? Attacking, going in the paint, left hand lay. He misses. And that should be game. Maliki, up to Jordan. Jordan Poole, give me a bucket real quick. Tack in the paint, nice pass to Bam Bam out of Bayo, and that should do it. They need threes, man. They need a bucket by any means, and Brown sold. That should be game. Jordan Poole, go ahead, score one more time. Or Anthony, that's not Anthony Edwards, that's Justin Edwards. That's game. 10 point lead, just like that, we do it. We win the chip. Jordan Poole had 36 points on efficient shooting, and just like that, we have the perfect NBA season for Jordan Poole. Did he win finals MVP? Yes, sir. Averaging 23, 11, and seven. I don't think I showed the wheel spin, but we had a maxed out rebounding, so that's what I maxed out next. And just like that, challenge complete. Three rings and two MVPs at the age of 33. Uh, I say we keep going. Let's just keep simulating. All right, so it's been 10 years since he left the, uh, the Warriors and became his own man. And he won three MVPs and three rings in total. Two finals MVPs and eight all-stars he averaged let's see let's take the average of when he left the warriors about i would say about 24 points 25 points yeah no i would say about 25 points a game he averaged since he left golden state so 
He did his thing, bro. Challenge complete, giving him Hall of Fame potential. I think two rings and two MVPs, or, or three rings and three MVPs, should automatically make you a Hall of Famer. And uh, that's what he is. So that's it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Comment down below what you want to see next. I'll catch you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.